freezing cold, foggy winter's day in England and what better day to film an Aston Martin DB11. Now my friend Dan has just purchased the car and he has kindly allowed me to come down here to film it. And here we have it. So Aston have come a long way since producing the DB9. The car at every angle is completely different. So as you can see from the front, Aston Martin have still retained their classic look but have turned it into something completely modern. Even if the badges weren't on it, you could still tell that it was an Aston Martin. We've got the 20 inch alloys here, the turbine style, and they're also done to be colour coded to the body paint. Red brake calipers. We come around the side and if you look at here, you can see there's these tiny little balls. Now what these do is it channels air through and then what it does, it sends air spiralling along here and into this. And that then channels air through here into the car and it sends the air coming out of these holes. Now, this part here is actually a mini spoiler which is raised once you achieve over a certain miles per hour. Come around the back and you can see the whole thing is completely changed. It's still got that Aston Martin look. Now, let's jump on inside. They've still kept the Aston Martin signature doors. So we're now inside and it is such a lovely place to be. It has the upgraded leather, so you have to use this option which creates these lovely head bolsters. You've got the new Aston Martin steering wheel and of course the fully revised interior. But still keeping the Aston Martin touches even though they've collaborated with Mercedes on a number of items in there. A really snazzy feature which I love is this. reveals a cool little compartment where you can just put some stuff out of the way. One of my favourite bits is this, check this out. What a fantastic way to open an engine bay. So here at the heart we've got the all new 5.2 litre V12 producing 600 brake horsepower. So this is the new engine with the twin turbo kit on it with a top speed of 200 miles an hour and a 0 to 60 of 3.9 seconds. And one other cool thing, it's got a soft close mechanism so it stops you slamming the bonnet. Check this. Here's the new Aston Martin key and a nice thing they haven't done as well is changed it with what they've done with the Mercedes. They've kept it Aston. It's still such a lovely piece. But let's start her up and see how she sounds. I'm in love with the new Aston Martin engine. So I think the thing sounds amazing, a lot better than the DB9 and the DBS for in fact. It's just got those crackles and, crackles and pops at the end which gives it such a different character. Now I'm looking forward to the V8 Vantage and obviously the new Vanquish that they're going to be releasing. The looks are gonna be completely different, so I'm looking forward to, because if it looks half as good as this, it's gonna be a very, very nice car. Obviously with the new engine that they're gonna do in the V8 Vantage, and we'll look to see what they'll do with the Vanquish. But now Aston Martin's collaboration with Mercedes, I think it's gonna be a very, very bright future. 